Hello. What I'm about to share is about the middle way. About the middle way between the fight or flight response and how to come into alignment with the middle way and what that means and how to bring that into existence in your life. And ultimately, it's through a non-reaction, a non-reactional state. And so when you'll hear me be talking about these different ways to find and feel that middle way within you, within your heart, within your body, within those moments that are difficult, and when you, um, um, and so when I'm explaining that, it's all based on a non reaction. And so, through, I believe, through our experiences in our lives, it's gaining us, it's giving us the opportunity to non react every single time. And then every time we do non react, we get to a more stable place, a more grounded position uh, in our lives internally and externally. And then the events that then take place will be different, will go through shifts, transformations, or transcend to a higher level of being through the middle way, through non-reaction. And so just bearing in mind when I say the middle way, when I say all of the kind of modalities of getting there and feeling that space, it's through a non-reaction. Um, so yeah, enjoy and thank you for being here and sending you love. to talk today about the middle way, about love and how to find the middle way in a time when we feel in so much fear, when we want to run away or when we want to fight. when we want to run away because we're in so much fear of whatever it is that's in front of us, whatever it is that's causing destruction or chaos along its path. And if we're there, then we can come to a place where we want to run or we want to fight. And we always say like fight or flight Um, But what I've come to understand is that there's a middle way. But even with the middle way, even with the middle way being love, being a perception that there is an option to not fight or not run can be, can feel that that's impossible, can feel that how can we be in a situation that's so dire and not make one of those options. And recently I've been put into practice the the feeling and the perception of the middle way and for me it's it's um it's something that I've always known I've heard of I've researched um but it's different when you're coming into contact with something and you yourself don't even know how you're going to react to certain situations certain people certain events certain environments and you don't know what you're going to do because 
your body reacts in a way which um, feels that it's the, it's the best thing to do at that time. So, so there is another way. And to learn that way, I feel like we need to come into balance into a mind frame that isn't scarcity that isn't you know feeling scared about the outcome of something but being ultimately grounded and present in the moment like a warrior um in a way which nothing can move you nothing at all can move you and we can find these this kind of feeling through even through yoga postures like the warrior or powerful poses that embrace our own unique sense of power and in those moments when you are still in those moments when In those moments when the fear is in front of you and you breathe and you go internal and you stand your ground and you open the palms of your hands and you do what you know brings you back to a sense of elation, love, bliss, peace, positivity, joy something that's going to really connect you with something greater than yourself in that moment and once you're connected to something greater nothing can harm you i truly believe nothing can harm you in that moment but and when we're in that moment we can chant you know we can say a phrase or say something or just connect energetically to a frequency which is high which is a higher vibrational frequency of love in some capacity and once we get to that place that's that's when we feel safe so we're only running away or we're only fighting because we're scared because we're in so much fear and that is an initial reaction but there is also another reaction and that is that middle way that is that option you know of those things combined but embracing it in a sense of groundedness in who you are when moving and in love with life itself and with the moment and in that moment you're protected and you're safe and in the times when <clears throat> we feel scared for our life <clears throat> you know we can desperately react we can desperately feel that you know we need to do something physically to to get ourselves out of that situation and i feel like this might not be the time <laughs> for everybody to do this because but i feel like now is the time for everybody to begin the journey of going within into their own heart listening to their own heart listening to what feels right where your heart is guiding you where your body is guiding you not just your head not just logic not just your you know intelligence in that way but your consciousness intelligence the, the intelligence that is guiding you and is running your entire your body or system your all all the internal parts of you is running on something that is bigger than you like it doesn't like you can't even control it there is a part of you controlling it and 
that part of us we can connect to. And in that part of us that we connect to, extraordinary things can happen. And tapping into that potential that we have as humans to become so vast, so limitless, so powerful. And to, to bring that to the surface, the deepest of breaths, the most solid of truths in love and the inner guidance, knowing that you are safe no matter what, the faith and the trust in the divine, in all that is, in all we are, in all our essence, in every single thing in this earth, we are a part of it. And coming to conscious awareness of that fact brings us into an alignment, into a balance, into our right relationship with the true essence of who we really are. And in that moment, when we have those, that blissful experience, we can prolong it and we can live in it and we can be in it. It doesn't have to be um, just in moments. It doesn't, happiness and joy doesn't have to be because something happened externally to make us happy internally because it's not external. Everything is internal. And so maybe starting to use the breath, starting to do meditations to guide you inward and find your own unique sense of, of power of bliss, of peace, of sovereignty, of autonomy, of just you are and so unbelievably incredible. We are walking miracles. We are all the planets. We are everything, you know, and in our bodies, you know, we just, when, when we tap into that, we know that feeling is more than we've ever felt before. And we don't then, like for me, I never wanted to let that feeling go. It's like, yeah, I can think about my past. I can think about all the things that, you know, that we can regret maybe, or that we wish had never happened, or that hurt us so much, that gave us heartbreak, that gave us pain, that gave us, you know, all we can see it in a way as lessons, as growth, as, yeah, you know, I wasn't as mature in that decision, or I could have done something better, I could have you know, but we can't beat ourselves up about anything that happened in the past. We can only do our best in the moment now. And we can change our past just by forgiving ourselves. And in that forgiveness and in an acceptance of what we've done and who we've been and in love with who we've been, in love with that part of ourselves that maybe was naive that maybe was so scared they didn't know which way to turn. And we did the best that we could in that moment. And yeah, maybe it was silly, maybe it was stupid, maybe it hurt others around us. But what can we do if we remain in that place? We can't move forward. And all that will happen is our past will repeat itself over and over again repeated cycles, everything's cyclical. Like time is not linear. Time is in all different forms. And we have to like have this huge observation, like really taking yourself out onto a bird's eye view of your life 
and seeing where where cycles have taken place where repeated patterns where um repeated types of experiences and people come into your life that aren't in resonance to you and you don't know why this experience or this person or this thing is happening again and again <laughs> why is it doing that because <clears throat> there's a part of us that hasn't let that go we hold on because we're in fear again and it's coming back to that middle way and every single time we're in fear and we can fight and we think i'm not scared i'm gonna fight right but fighting is fear it's what happens as a result of fear and if you're in love unconditionally then fear cannot get to you and in fact those experiences that we didn't like before those patterns <clears throat> that kept repeating themselves will completely disappear it will not happen again it will not be in your field and you will have a sudden shift a sudden download of information that's like oh my gosh what was i doing <laughs> what part and why was i playing that why was i playing that role and that person and why was i doing those things and why did i think that was okay and why did i accept that and why did i not forgive this and why did i not help that and why did i you know there's all of that and that doesn't exist anymore once we accept we love and we forgive and we let go and we come into resonance of unconditional love and in unconditional love nothing will irritate us No other person will irritate you. You can't be angry at them. You can't throw negative comments at them because that's just a projection of fear. So, finding a moment in your life, what brought you into a place of unconditional love that's love without condition, with no conditions. There's no I'll love you if you behave in a certain way. Or there's no like shouting at your animal because it's not behaved in the way that you wanted it to behave. That doesn't exist there. The only thing that exists is unconditional love. No matter what is happening, even if it hurts us, it doesn't mean we have to stay. It doesn't mean we have to stay in that environment situation. It doesn't mean we have to stay with that person. It doesn't mean we have to like it. <laughs> but we have love because we understand it on a greater level. and it can't affect us anymore. And when we come to that place where that thing does not affect us anymore, that trigger, <laughs> that, that anger or the heightened emotion that can take place, when that doesn't affect us anymore, we know that we've achieved the unconditional love in all aspects. And, you know, it can happen in the moment and the more times we catch ourselves in the moment of distress in any single way we can come back come back to the breath so with that shall we do a moment's breath work shall we come into our center so if we place our hands on our hearts and we close down our eyes And we tune in we notice the rhythm of our breath
We notice any thoughts that are passing by. We don't attach ourselves, we just watch the thoughts pass by. And we tune into our heart. Feeling what our heart needs right now. What's it saying to you? With a smile, a gentle smile, send your heart love and light. And if any forms of darkness comes up, that's okay. Darkness is a part of us. It's useful. And we love it too. It's teaching us. teaching us what we need to let go of, what we need to surrender to. To bring ourselves into wholeness, oneness, balance, connection to all that is. Taking a deep breath in through the nose, filling up your belly, your lower ribs, to the top of your chest, expand your chest and hold, and exhale through the nose or the mouth, and let go of all that no longer serves. And again, a deep inhale, belly, lower ribs, top of chest, hold at the top. And exhale with a sigh. <sighs> and let go. Listening to your heart. Whisper to your heart, I love you. I'm sorry. As you exhale, allow yourself to let go completely. Your heart wants to be seen. It wants to be loved. It's here for you always. Remember. Remember love. Remember peace. Gently inhaling. And exhaling. Allowing yourself to be in this moment. 
completely. And connected to love. And this is where This is where safety lies. This is where we come home. Okay, you may release your hands. Take a last inhale. Expanding the shoulders, raising your heart upwards and exhaling. And you may open your eyes when you're ready. How do you feel? How are you? How is your body? Any moment that you have to come back to the body, to come back to the breath, to come back to you. I know it will be greatly appreciated and you'll be served. Thank you for joining me in this middle way talk and I will be back soon sending you so much love. Namaste.